Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mitz. I make videos about filmmaking, mostly outdoors. So today I want to talk about this guy, DJI Mini 2. I just wanted to say to begin with, I love this drone. I crashed it earlier, made a video on it, repaired it, paid for it myself. So I have a small history and that makes it a little bit more important. Okay, so first I want to show you all the tools you got with this drone. So let's jump in. This drone has four different modes. The photo mode, video mode, quick shots and panorama. Me personally, I mostly just use the, the photo and the video. Some of the quick shots, they can be really good, but it's also pretty easy to just do it manually. Then you have auto mode or pro mode. And auto is what you think, it's auto. But that can be pretty bad in video if you have changing conditions. I'm not gonna go deep in the settings because I think there's a lot of other videos that will cover that. So I'm gonna try to stay on the practical side of things, more of the flying and stuff like that. So the good things with this drone, 4K quality, it's really good for this tiny drone. And the second best thing is the weight, 249 grams. And that makes it much easier to fly than drones that weigh more and it's a really good thing and also not only from the law perspective but from the user perspective because I don't want to hurt anybody and you can never ever trust your electronics 100% they sometimes they just fall out of there they they get some malfunction or just do something that you don't expect and if this falls down in a city or something it's it's not gonna like really hurt anybody. So I think that's one of the best things. And of course, you, you're not allowed to fly over people and stuff like that, So, but sometimes you, you don't know if the drone just flies off. So that's a really good thing with this really light drone. Another thing that I don't think too many people are talking about is it's, it's, it's a pretty cool looking drone. And for me, it's I like using products that are also good looking because it kind of yeah I don't know maybe it's superficial but I think it's a good design it's a nice nice look this drone is probably more for beginners and kind of hobbyists and I think this is the perfect one this is the perfect drone you can learn to fly you can get the perspectives get the feeling in your fingers on how, how and what where you're gonna fly you get confident and it's not so risky, it's not too expensive, it, it does cost a lot of money though, but it's not too expensive. So I think if this was my first drone, I would be really, really happy. And also I think the battery life, it's, it's pretty okay. It's like, you can really fly for 25 minutes and it's no problem. I, I don't remember what the, what the estimate is by DJI, but that's usually just some false number that never, you're never gonna get that many minutes that they say so I think about 25 is pretty good another good thing like crazy good is that everything fits in this bag the drone drone goes there you have the remote control and then we have the battery charging hub this is the fly more combo and i think you should get it because you're just gonna be pissed off if you have one battery and try to like really enjoy yourself it's not gonna happen you need more batteries so go get some batteries if you're trying to film like cool stuff cinematic stuff you maybe wanna get some nd filters Okay, so that was the best things. Now, the not so good things. The one thing I'm really missing on this drone, and I think very many other people also are, is the lack of a flat profile, a color profile. 
so that you could color grade the footage more. That's the thing that I really hope that DJI could, could make in an update and just add a log profile. Thanks. There are some issues with the small size and that is if it's a little bit windy or more windy, this one tends to drift like in this video. I encounter a pretty interesting problem. When it's too windy, sometimes I I try to fly forward full speed, but the, the drone isn't really moving. So that's the problem with these small drones. Okay, I have it in cinema mode, so it's not so powerful. Probably if I change to normal, it will start moving a little bit, but it's not smooth. So it's definitely not the best choice when it's very windy. If you want to have like super precise flying, it's very difficult or because compared to the FPV drone, it's kind of, it's heavy, but it, it stays where it's supposed to be. And it, it's kind of, it's different and it has more power, but this one, it's, it's just tiny. So it, it, it just get whips around in, in the wind. And it's maybe stupid to complain on a thing like this, like low light because it's super tiny camera and I know it's not capable of very good low light, but still, I think there's a lot of uh, AI processing that could be done, like new iPhones and stuff like that, that they have just perfect low light, even if it's super tiny. So that would be cool. The last bad thing, oh, or maybe it's also a good thing, but the range for me, I think it's been like 1.3 kilometers the furthest away and then it just goes away, the signal. So, but then on, on the other hand, if you can fly over one kilometer, I think that's, it should be enough. But sometimes when you're filming outdoors and you have like this vast open fields, you would just want to attack it. But okay, that's it. Hope you got some info from this and if you're if you're second guessing if you want to buy this I'd say just buy it because this is the one drone I take everywhere it's like I don't necessarily want to carry too much stuff but this is so small I can I can take this anywhere so for sure this is the go-to drone if you have some questions or something to add just feel free comment Otherwise, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and see you again. Peace.